Right, so hopefully you've had a look at the uh, unit tests and you've worked out how to fix it. I think I added a return N there and I also D D D D, -D um, in here. I think I set count to zero and then count had to be less than N. So when I now run my unit tests and run it, you can see that it comes back and it says all the tests pass. You get a nice little ticks. So in this session, I'm going to go and look specifically at um, how to do test coverage. And so what this will do is it will run all of the unit tests, but it'll also tell you how many of the lines of code were actually executed in there. So let's have a look at, um, actually maybe I'll just try it with sequences to start with. So I'm going to run that. And as I click coverage, um, I need to install coverage.py. Um, so I'm going to click the install there. So uh, coverage is a unit, and what it does is it tests that your unit tests cover all of your program. So it ensures that there's not like large chunks of code that are just floating around that don't have unit tests written for them. And so it's saying it's successfully installed it, and so I'm going to try and run it again to see what it comes out with. Um, uh, I think I don't. I think I'm doing it the wrong one here. I think I need to do it onto onto unit tests and then click coverage and see what happens. So now, what it's telling me is 45% of the lines of code in sequences.py were covered with those unit tests, which I think is really interesting. So let's have a can I have a look at that. So let's have a look at. So when I ran those unit tests, and that's that's what's really nice is the, um, is that along the side you'll get a color coded chart, and it'll say all of this stuff has not been covered, which is fine because that was my, um, that was my user interface, which I wasn't testing. I was just testing these two algorithms. So coverage is a module that links into the UI, and it will basically you can run it on a, um, you can run it, and you will tell it will when you run unit tests and it will tell you how your unit tests actually cover um, the program that they're actually pertaining to test. And so that's really useful because you can spot things that you haven't tested in your unit test.